The Fanghorn, while inherently non-aggressive, should not be underestimated by new travelers in the Forbidden West. Hello everyone, I'm Noxious Asp, and in this installment of my series Machine Spotlight, I'll cover everything you need to know about the Fanghorn, including its locations, strengths and weaknesses, attacks, overriding, and more. So what is a Fanghorn? The Fanghorn joins the ranks of grazing acquisition machines like the Lancehorn and Grazer with design inspired by an elk. Similar to an elk, the Fanghorn has two large antlers lined with incredibly sharp fang-like tines which give the machine its name. These horns are primarily used to gather natural resources from the earth which it breaks down into biofuel. Another signature trait of the Fanghorn is its slit-like optical sensor similar to an elk's pupil. The Fanghorn is constantly using this to survey its surroundings for threats. Fanghorns always gather in her for safety. They are incredibly skittish and will flee when approached by humans. However, one member of the herd will typically stay behind to confront the threat as the others escape. In combat, Fanghorns can use their deadly antlers to gore enemies and can even launch devastating fire blasts from range. Because of this, Fanghorns are easily the most powerful of the grazing machines. Fanghorns can be found across the Forbidden West and have four dedicated machine sites on the map where they can be found consistently. The first site is located in the Daunt, just west of the Osram camp last log. Here you can typically find two fanghorns with some burrowers nearby. The second site is located in the hills just southwest of Honda's salvage camp. Here you can find a herd of fanghorns ranging in size with no other machines in the immediate vicinity. The third site is located in the snowy peaks just east of the Tanakh settlement of Stonecrest. Here you can find three fanghorns with some sun wings roosting nearby. The fourth and final marked site is located deep in the heart of the Isle of Spires. Here you can find one of the largest herds of Fanghorn on the map, joined by some Red Eye Watchers. Next, let's review the machine catalog entry for the Fanghorn. Fire Fanghorn, a level 14 acquisition lightweight machine. A herd machine that dissolves natural resources to convert into biofuel. Its horns can clap shut with great force and shoot fire attacks over long distances. The Fire Fanghorn is weak versus frost damage and strong versus fire damage. Notable loot includes metal shards, blaze, Fanghorn circulator, machine muscle, Fanghorn primary nerve, small machine core, braided wire, metal bone, and sturdy hard plate. While there is currently only one variant of the Fanghorn, you can find the carcass of a plasma fanghorn in the game, located at the Bone White Tear Rebel Outpost, possibly hinting at their appearance in future content. Next, let's study the fanghorn's weak points so that we can exploit them in battle, starting with its resource container. This container sits just above the machine's haunches and acts as the machine's primary resource storage. Tear it off to collect its contents, which can include blast paste. The next weak point is its single purge water canister that sits just above the resource container and acts as the machine's purge water storage. Tear it off to collect the resource or shoot with a well-aimed purge water arrow to detonate and inflict the drenched state. The next weak point is the Fanghorn's two large antlers which are fixed atop the machine's head. These metal horns are capable of clapping shut and enhancing attacks with fire. Detach or destroy to disable the charge attack and provide yourself with a very rare key upgrade resource. Note that the catalog entry mentions quote various elements end quote. Another hint to more variants in the future? The final weak point is the Fanghorn's set of blaze canisters located at the apex of the machine's back. These serve as the machine's blaze storage. Tear them off to collect the resource or shoot with a well-aimed fire arrow to detonate and inflict the burning state. Next, let's familiarize ourselves with the Fanghorn's range of attacks. Here you can see its antler strike. This is the ranged flame burst attack which it launches in volleys of three. Dodge to the side to avoid its charge attack. Here you can see its skyward stab attack, its donkey kick attack, and finally its front leg kick. Take everything you've learned in this video and you'll be taking down Fanghorns with ease. The Fanghorn can indeed be overridden once you have completed Cauldron Moo and received its overrides. I will now demonstrate overriding a Fanghorn in the wild. We're of course gonna be setting it to aggressive. Let's first see how it fares against a couple of Fire Claw Striders. Our overridden Fanghorn was able to defeat one Fireclaw Strider. 
but ultimately fell to the other. For the next fight, let's try to even the playing field. Let's see how they all do against some Bellowbacks. Incredible. What about a frost claw? That was shockingly quick. Our final test will be a thunder jaw. All right, I guess we found the Fanghorn's limit. Today we proved that a herd of overridden Fanghorns is an absolute force to be reckoned with. So what do you think of the Fanghorn? Do you think we'll see more elemental variants in future content, or even an Apex variant? Let me know in the comments below. The Fanghorn is easily my favorite of the grazing machines due to its design alone, but boy were they tough in the beginning of my journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload next. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be shining the spotlight on the grazer.